inside. Well, we like to tell you, we have a variety of a massive cover. You can't take anything out there. Okay, coming back down, 185 miles an hour. The airplane on top, Jim Franklin. He's the fourth point. Hesitation roll. One, two, three, four. It is the first national nightmare. Moving around, moving around the, the John Casey doesn't stay in the same 
next box over about 15 seconds. He's moving around. He's up, down, between the wings, on the side of the fuselage. You've got to watch that black out very closely to see where he's gone next. And if that was me, I'd be in that position. Great. <laughs> In that short turnaround period, John Gabriel has told me what he feels about moving. He pointed up towards the sky, and that only took about seven seconds for him to do, believe that or not. Now remember, you just can't flop over because you've got that propeller out there. You've got to do that very scientifically, both getting up on your head and getting back down on your feet again. Like that guy said, give me uh, 20 days and I'll get back on my feet again. Well, John's only got about seven seconds to do that. I tell you, I felt like you were pulling me to movies right here. Now look at this. This is called the Team Work Pass. And Elliot's flying the first match in the Bank of Ohio Special. That's Lori with a red jumpsuit on the top wing. Now Lori has got what we call a stunt woman size or a wing walker size. That's ideally around 100 pounds. She's about five foot four. She does not create a lot of aerodynamic drag, but listen to this. This is what the pilots have to contend with. Anytime you put any wing walker on the wing of an airplane, it creates the aerodynamic drag against the other four airplanes without having the advantage of the second engine. So you take the funnel area, the cowling, the wing, the wing, the wing, that is the equivalent aerodynamic drag that a wing walker puts on the airplane. So it's a tremendous responsibility on the part of the pilots. They have to worry about the drag of the airplane and consider themselves with the well being of that wing walker at all times. John knew a variety of acts over the years. The particular airplane that uh, Jim Franklin is flying is brand new, believe it or not. It was manufactured by one of our air show friends in Idaho last year from the ground up. It is an airplane that he's going to be using in his Double Eagle Productions. It's a second unit production company specializing in television and movies. That airplane, although you can't see it today, the sheet metal covering up, has three cockpits. The front cockpit is big enough for two people. That would be the star and the co-star. Then the second cockpit would be the cameraman holding the camera for the motion picture. And then behind the cameraman would be the pilot out of view of the camera. So you're getting what used to take us three and four flights to get those shots in the motion picture business. You're getting it all with one now because of those three cockpits. The star of the coast star, front cockpit, cameraman, middle cockpit, behind the cameraman, the pilot, out of view. Now these are closed. Okay. Okay. These are open. These are open. Okay. So I have to this a lot of them. Okay. That's correct, yeah. An open cockpit airplane. Okay, side by side, once again. It is a big formation loop. It is. in the first National Bank of Ohio special. Two airplanes that are the original design. A type of airplane. A lot of you might recognize it. They're very highly modified. The air shows like out in the Rockies. And also for the extra weight. This is a real professional organization. The town of Cleveland 
to be happy that they have the leadership and direction to be able to have a beautiful three-day event with all the things that are going on like we have here at Cleveland. So you can be very proud of this show, William. I'll guarantee you, it ranks number one with us. John Kazian, the top row plane is now upside down as Lori Ross. John has the baton in his hand. The airplanes will have to get very close together for him to pass that baton to Lori Ross. They are almost as one. The props are very close together. It looks like they have made the transfer once again. We have seen it here for a minute, General Luke They really get to lose our more show to come this Now you can see that both Lori and John Casey for the landing wheel have gone to that area between the wings on the side of the fuselage. Up on top of the wing again where they were riding throughout the course of the day. With the engine noise, my friends, they will not be able to hear your applause at this time. They will be riding down in the convertible, but they're going to be taking a bow. The airplanes, the pilots, and the wing walkers will be taking about just a couple of seconds. And when they do, let's take those hats off, wave the programs, wave the hanky. They will be able to see your enthusiasm. There's the bow. Thank you. 